Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today's video is all about NBA 2K18 and the lack thereof with updating us on why there's no patch, why there's no hot fixes, and why there are still problems in the game. When is patch 5 dropping, dog? That's all I want to know. Let me know what you guys think below inside the comment section on what 2K needs to fix. I will be loving and liking comments as well as responding to comments. So make sure you leave yours below. Let's get into the video. What's up, guys? I just wanted to give a quick shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is an app where you guys can buy tickets to music, sports, or comedy events. They even score each ticket to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad deal, which makes buying tickets much more simple. They even allow you to see the view from where you're going to sit before you purchase the tickets. If you guys want $20 off of your first order, make sure you guys click the link in the description, sign up, and use the promo code King Carter once you download the app. Yeah. Y'all know why I'm here. I, listen, this, I promise you guys, this will not be a rant. This will be all facts, all actual factuals. NBA 2K as a company... I'm, I'm going by Twitter handles only today. I'm not using any real names. I ain't snitching on nobody. At NBA 2K as a company has put out a game that costs $60 to $150. Now, let me let you guys understand something. I got an email from GameStop two days ago asking me that I want to purchase NBA 2K Legend Edition. For $150, the gold John. They said they were willing to give me 500000 VC instead of 250000 It's double VC weekend and not in-game. I'm talking about double VC for a purchase. We have hit an all-time low for NBA 2K18. I don't think it could get any worse. With the patch 4 that dropped. You guys seen my patch for problems, notes, review. Y'all seen that video. Y'all seen the big problems that is wrong with the game right now. And I'm going to address some of it. But why is 2K still promoting purchases of this game before fixing it? I don't understand why I keep seeing so much stuff over social media that is steering in a direction that is making more and more people hate your game. It's not good marketing. I mean, I know people is out here, Christmas about to come. I know you're going to sell copies. But right now we are at a place where the game is shit. Literally, this is the worst performing out of launch game. NBA 2K game out there ever. So patch four broke people's closet. Now some people can't even get into their closet. Others, when you get into the closet, you can't even equip anything. You can't put nothing on. Your custom shoes are gone. Your custom shoe costs 9,000 VC, bro. Now if you put that into perspective, 9,000 VC per shoe. I went in, I said, you know what? Let me see if I if I should purchase another shoe. So you purchase a shoe that costs 9,000 VC. You run all the way back to your my court to find out that you cannot even equip this newly purchased custom shoe. How heartbreaking is that? As a consumer, you know, okay, this is what I'm thinking. When I get the game, I'm only going to spend $60 on the game. Many other people spent more. But me, as from my experience, I spent $60 on the game. I then got $100 worth of VC. I knew what I wanted. I wanted 85 overall, and I wanted to then grind to 90. I got my 450K. I did whatever I wanted to do with it. But now we're at a point where I've spent more because now I've spent the VC I've earned to get up to 90 overall. I've spent all the VC I've earned on NBA 2K18, all the cosmetic stuff, clothes, sneakers, jewelry, headsets, chains, what, whatever's in the game. It don't even matter right now. What I'm saying to you guys is I've paid my dues, literally. I've paid for things in this game. 
and then I cannot even equip them. Now let's talk about people who are past 90 overall. Let's talk about the 91 overalls for a moment. People that can take their shirts off. Guess what? They can't take their shirts off because they can't change their outfits at all. Let's jump to the 92 overalls. The people who are supposed to get a handy dandy skateboard. Guess what? They cannot get a skateboard. If you reach 92 overall, I feel sorry for you. Let's talk about Pro-Am for a moment. As far as walk-on goes, there's a couple things where the Pro-Am Arena accessories work, but you can't get into your closet. You may get a blue screen. But for Team Arena, these people either lag out, they either get an error code, or get stuck trying to go in the Team Pro-Am Arena. 2K, what did we... What? I'm sorry. Let me stop saying we. I do not work for 2K. I'm going to get that out the way. But what are you guys doing? When they do certain stuff with people, they have you sign an NDA, right? So when you sign an NDA, the NDA is for unreleased information. So I'm talking to you guys about everything that has been released. Why aren't you sending gamers real people that play your video game to test these said patches why why isn't a person like me flown out a gamer that plays pro-am flown out a player that plays park flown out more players that play my career flown out more people that play my team my league my gm and more flown out to test your overall patch because we will find bugs bugs will always be found by the community this community is to help you make your game better and i don't understand why you don't fly people out have them sign the nda so they don't release the information and let them show you the problems that may happen now i seen a few hours ago one day ago that mike wang is now active on twitter responding to tweets about the patch for problems he addressed a couple things about pro-am letting people know that hey we're gonna fix that we didn't touch this i know this may have happened but we didn't do that there's consequences in fixing other things that may break other things you should allow people to come in house fly them out you make a lot of money off of microtransactions. I've watched a couple videos and people are always talking about, well, that's a sponsorship for 2K. They got money from that company. Sometimes it might be different. Sometimes a player might not want his rights in the game. Sometimes you might have to pay for that. Sometimes a company might say, okay, we're bigger than you. In order for you to make your game and be authentic, you're gonna have to come to us. So sometimes there may be a partnership in hand, there may be money exchanging hands, but I'm telling you now with 2K microtransactions, they are making plenty of money. When you buy VC, you're buying VC from 2K. So it's literally a digit for people who were losing their players. 2K was granting them VC. You know what they were doing? They were giving you a digit. It costs nothing to give you a digit, a number of VC, yet it costs us. So I know that 2K, as far as money goes, you're making enough. Please, please, my only gripe is fly out the same people that you've flown out to run the neighborhood to these events and have them help with development. There has been many, many other companies that have done this, please 2K do this this will make the game a thousand times better because you will know before you push something to the public that it will be addressed please when is patch 5 coming i just i just want to know when we need to be hands on here man i will give you my psn my psn is linked to my ps4 please send me the update i'll check it I don't care how many hours it takes me. I'll take 48 hours straight to check every little thing with this patch just to make sure it works. <sighs> I'm sorry I went on a tangent, everybody. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video. Leave your comments below. I just want to see a better game. That's all I want to see, man. I've been playing 2K since the beginning. All right. And I've been doing YouTube since 2K10, 2K11. Please 
help us.